Hello and welcome back to the channel guys. This is your guy Christopher Watson of Crack Media and we're going to talk about a, a shop that does smog checking and, uh, and some automotive work on this episode of Garage Rehab Recap and Review. So this week's review or recap of Garage Rehab um, is over episode four. Um, and the garage that is featured is actually uh, Blue Ribbon Automotive and Smog located in Bakersfield, California. Yep, the smog capital of the United States. And what I mean by that is like they have the strictest smog laws um, in America. So anyway, Richard Rawlings uh, heads to Bakersfield, California to meet with a Mike Myers, uh, not Halloween or uh, the actor Mike Myers, but a, a mechanic or a shop owner Mike Myers. Um, this guy's been in, in the automotive business for a while. Uh, he's he's older. Uh, he has the shop isn't really that big. It has about five six employees, and and uh, I mean I guess they're not doing that well. So basically, he says Mike says that he's actually in uh, debt and personal debt and business debt. And it's not just his fault. I think he has, his wife has some uh, medical condition, like cancer. And then he has some body problems as well. So um, he, he's, it sounds like he's not in good predicament. So anyway, their, his garage, kind of just like every other, every other garage feature, junky, holding on to cars for people holding on the parts, holding on the just crazy stuff that shouldn't even be in a garage. Um, he has, like I said, he's a smog shop and his smog machine isn't even working. And I have you know the smog machine, according to Mike and Richard Rollins, is like $25,000. So you have a $25,000 machine that's not working correctly. Like, and that's what your main business is. What are you doing? Um, also, you know, any body work or transmission work, he's sourcing out to another uh, garage. So uh, he's losing out on money. So anyway, Richard and Russell take a take a walk around the garage, and uh, they're like, man, you know, it's just like every other garage. And I have you to know that. On the street that Blue Ribbon Automotive and Smog is located on, there are about four, five, six, I don't know, other smog garages right next door to them. So, I mean, if you don't, if you don't have a working smog machine and you're sourcing out certain jobs to other garages, then, I mean, you're not very, uh, desirable in my opinion so anyway Richard sits down and talks to Mike and says look Mike we're gonna take it over but I'm gonna take it over I'm gonna put $175,000 of money and time into turning this place around but you gotta do everything and I mean everything that I say do and we're gonna you know you're gonna do what I say until I make my money back so of course, Mike agrees because he's like, this is my only source of income and I gotta make sure that my wife's taken care of, he has a son, he wants the son to take over the, the family business at some point. So anyway, let me kind of talk faster. Richard and Russell just gut the place and like every other episode, they can get brand new equipment, brand new lifts, brand new tools, and they get a brand new smog uh, machine or s smog uh, 
small tester, that's the word. They get a brand new small tester for, for Mike. Now, Russell, not Russell, Richard actually talks to Mike um, about certain business ventures he wants to do, okay? He talks, to Mike, he talks to Mike and says, look Mike, you're in California, there's oil, there's, you know, a lot of companies around here that use fleet trucks, so, you know, how can we tap into that market? So, Richard and Mike actually go to a company that's like an oiling company and, you know, pitches a deal to them, like, hey, we'll, we know you have 25, 30 trucks that are going to need servicing, well, we'll do free smogging for you if you let us do any repairs or whatnot on the vehicles and we'll do it at a you know fair price and the company the guy the owner of the company or the the runner of the company um he says hey that sounds fine i have a budget of about five thousand dollars a truck so if we can stay into that stay in, in under that budget then i'm all for it um and you know we'll, we'll be talking in the future so I think Richard is definitely on to something there. And as far as like Mike and his business without dealing with uh, other big companies, you know, Richard's like, look, how about we, you know, I know y'all charge for smog, but how about we do free smog checks to get people into the door? But then if, you know, if their smog doesn't pass this, then, you know, you'll say, look, we can, you know, we can fix all your smog problems for X amount of dollars or, you know, do certain stuff to keep the business there, which is excellent business, business planning. Get people in the door and then, you know, if you can keep them in the door, then you can make your money, you know. So anyway, they get the thing, they get the place flipped around knew everything they even paint the outside of the the garage um, they painted red which is kind of wild and then obviously the name of the place is blue ribbon um, I mean I, I think I think this one this episode was really different because this place isn't just a performance shop it's actually a smog shop that does you know automotive repair automotive uh just general automotive duty um and most of these other shops that have been on the show are performance shops or hot rod shops and you know they're not utilizing all that they have because they're hoarding jobs that they you know have had over over the past or hoarding their own cars in the garage which is kind of dumb so when you lose that on money so I, I think I think Richard and I'm glad Richard actually said something about this Richard actually said in this episode that you know I need to get y'all back up and running and running efficiently so that I can make my money back so we know he's gonna get his you know his original investment back I'm still wondering if he gets you know an extra percentage on top of whatever they make per year so I mean per year per whatever per quarter um, because I can't imagine that he will pass up on you know that much money so anyway what do y'all guys think do you think that this smog uh, re rehabilitation or rehabilitation of a smog center is uh, a smart idea or do you think that they're just gonna bust in California because I've been to California multiple times and they have smog everywhere every corner so drop a line down below. Again, thank you guys for checking this out. We'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace out and have a great day, guys.